Hello everyone, welcome to Red Dead Redemption, part one. Exit in America. So everyone, let's begin. Anyway, folks, Happy New Year, Happy 2019, everyone. <sighs> Red Dead Redemption came out back in 2011. I just put a question, why is John Marston here on a boat here, on a train here? And they probably just had to finalize a little deal here. Yep, the theme of the game is the wife, well, the wife is dying and the wife of technology. Very first generation of cars. And here come the two government boys. Uh, well, that's the very first target here that John is going to kill. Anyway, our protagonist today is John Morrison here. Formerly, he used to work with the Dust Battling Gang. Gain. Let's see, Dust, Bill, Javier Estrella here. Anyway, Bill is, well, Bill is nearby here. Dust, I don't know where he is. Apparently, he's gone on the ground. A Walkstar San Diego production. So yeah. Anyway, the guy to his right here is Edgar Wallace here, agent. Basically, FBI, well, formerly a Pinkerton engine here. Strangely enough, you actually see this guy in Red Dead Redemption 2 here many years ago. But that's a that's a discussion for another day. So yeah, this whole scene lasts about four minutes, so we got two minutes of of uh, watching John Marshall makes his way to Armadillo. That's where Bill Winston is. Well, I for one am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we helped the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. But, Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Yeah, this whole dialogue by John Martin and Cena Nora with the two ladies in the, in the back here, and we've played Red Dead 2, it makes a lot more sense. So yeah, the year is 1911. The West is pretty much dying. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Don's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. <sighs> you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. Oh, hi, Bonnie. It's the opportunity we have. The what the hell is she doing here? Among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes 
I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Here we are. Here we are. And here we are back in Armadillo. We had to go out, get out the train and meet our contact, who's going to take us up to the fort. Alright, well, walk into the saloon and say hi. If you want to this whole part is basically two, there's two parts. Why it is, this whole, is about 23 minutes long is because there's two parts here. And of course, there, and to our left is the saloon and this guy here, if you if you basically stay there for a few seconds, that guy falls on his face here. Basically, he's been drinking too much. And here's our contact. Uh, no. Anyway, let's mount the horse. Uh, no. Whoa. Uh, if you might want, I love doing that. You know, maybe you all wonder what is going on with this playthrough here, well, this commentary. It's the same thing as Grand Theft Auto San Andreas here. I'm only recording missions here, and basically you're gonna get all the missions themselves here. Some of them I skip the cutscenes, other I start recording the cutscenes. So yeah, well, enough to take control of the character. Press A here to pretty much have the horse, uh, horse move here. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve Flanders. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? Anyway, let's fly. And if you press A here, you can just keep pace with your traveling campaign here. Yeah. Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Uh, anyway, let's us uh, and well, basically the mission ends where when you go to Fort Mercer here to say hi to Bill. Uh, the first part lasts about 13 minutes. And yeah, I suppose you're, you can start... And of course you can also hunt animals here and skin them and sell them for extra bit of cash here. And there he is, Fort Mercer. This is where Bill Williamson's held up. Let's go say hi to him. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rolled in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we park ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> yeah, wait. So yeah, an old fort. Pretty defendable, and it's essentially just a fortress here. Well, Bill himself is an ex-soldier here. Well, he probably not, well, made a good choice, though. 
Anyway, let's hit, let's hit the X, the, the floating X, and check out the cutscene. Oh, someone's there. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill. I implore you, think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. Dory, he's not dead. Though extremely, extremely stupid, though. Oh, look, a buzzard. Well, somehow John had. To, well, somehow he doesn't die here. Oh, Milo. Well, time to drag him. Well, they're going to put John in the back of the wagon and take him back to the to the ranch here. And this leads us to the next mission, new friends and old problems. Wash his head. Anyway, that the end of the part, and here comes the next mission we're about to do, new friend. And after many hours, he wakes up here, but still very sore and injured. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Just trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? I knew him. A long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. What will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, 
just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to leave here quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Anyway, here comes the, and we get our very first safe house at the McFarland Mans. Just me wonder though, what the heck she was doing over there? Probably visiting her brother here. Anyway, we but anyway, the very first gun we have is the Kalman revolver. Pretty much basic revolver we have here. Well, anyway, and that's the house she lives in, and let's go say hi to her. Anyway, we'll be earning a bit. Of Oh yeah, what am I doing? Here, wait, here, wait. Back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Here, wait. And after the while, we're going. Well, she's going to show us the wound here, her the wands here. And after that, we're going to start doing a bit of patrolling here. And to keep the place safe here from the coyotes and the rabbits. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on then. I'll show you around the property. What the hell? Okay. Come on. Ah, I love open world games. The, the weird glitch you have find here is often weird and funny. Anyway, let's keep pace with with Bonnie here, and let's look around the place. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. It also, you can place you can sell animal hides, meat here. When you basically skin an animal alive, you can go over there and just and sell it there. I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. The post office? That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Slow down. And there, of course, there's the pen for the cows, and that's the barn. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Come on, boys. Anyway, after that, let's go back to the house. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Anyway, try not to run over someone. If you, if you do injure someone, here that's a miss and fail. Anyway, turn to the hidden post, press X, and you hit your host. I don't need to save your home. Well, John has pretty much time. If you're wondering about the golden you know, gun itself here, basically. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. So yeah, basically here, um, I'm playing, I'm doing this most of the missions here backward, well basically using the backward Mr. on playing on the Mr. Xbox Carl, One. Backward compatible. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful. Come anyway, on, let's mount up and take a look around. And we, we have ourselves a new gun here, a, a carbon repeater. And per as as per you know, Walkstar Games here at the game program, you get more access to bigger and better guns. Now you can either buy guns, or you can also find them on there on the ground itself, here to be given to you here. Let's go. 
Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. James, let's see. Well, there's, and of course, let's do a little bit of patrolling at night here. So. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. And right behind her is the garden. Let's see. I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with that. Alright, well. Anyway, left trigger here to aim, auto aim here, and right trigger to pull the trigger. Anyway, that's the last, anyway, that's the last bit of the rabbits here. We should keep moving. Let's see. There's still a ways to go. The mess is almost over, and we have to deal with about some coyotes, about, that, uh, about coyotes in the chicken oh. hen, in the hen house. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Damn coyotes are fast. Yep. We can't afford to lose any more livestock. Kill him, Mr. Marston. I bet there's more than Oh. Yep. Oh, yep. Well, that was easy. Alright, well, that's the end of the mission, and then we're gonna go back to the little shot we have to for and save it at the end of the part. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Yeah. Anyway, oh, enter the stream. Um, nope. Anyway. Anyway. Let's go into the X. Of that, here's the horse, and dang it in the mission, folks. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. And, everyone, that's the end of the part. Hey, everyone. See you, everyone. Anyway, see you guys in part two. Bye.